Hello everyone, this is Lisa Mahalik, also known as Defenders of Sand, and I know it's been a long time since I've been on video, but I did want to talk about some aspects of preparedness that other people may not have been talking about or that you may not have considered. Um, and most, uh, basically today it's about um, bodily fluids, so that includes, you know, human waste, you know, urine, piss, shit, poo. Um, and also the, and also because I'm a woman, because there's women, okay, feminine stuff, feminine menstrual blood. So I'm going to get into the feminine menstrual blood part first. I'm being real. We need to be women. We need to have, the, you know, different ways to, to take care of that every month. You know, diva cup, you know, cloth pads, regular pads, tampons, however you do it. Um, different ways to cover that in, in case you don't have laundering facilities, in case there's no water, etc, etc, to clean or to to clean or do whatever, whichever format you use. So, because it, like if you only have cloth pads and your laundry facilities at your apartment is down or you don't have water, then you're kind of shit out of luck <laughs> to clean that up. So, just one example. And also when it comes to um, human waste, we don't talk about that and I don't know why. <laughs> so basically the stuff you would be looking at to prepare for that is the, the items that people use to take care of that when they're out camping. Um, like luggable, there's luggable loos, L-O-O-S, there's the fancier um, uh, stand apart commodes uh, that uh, that come with a tent to cover it up, so you have privacy. Uh, I'll I'll include links in the video description. It's kind of hard to s explain. Like um, basically, products to get rid of both the liquid and the both the liquid and the solid waste, and also biodegradable trash bags to put said waste in when it's when it's corrected, <laughs> rectified, so you don't have to worry about if, heaven forbid, the sewage system doesn't work because of rolling blackouts, etc., etc., etc. So that's <laughs> that's it in a nutshell, and also ways to purify water without. Uh, electricity like distilling water and there's also different ways to use bleach something like that I I had to look that up as well I'm not there's a particular formula or formulas that you would that you would um, uh, clean water that way and of course please do your own research 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 don't don't take my don't take my advice as the only thing that you go on <laughs> please I am by no means an expert. Uh, so basically, fem, you know, feminine needs, pads, cloth, cloth and regular, tampons, diva cups, cups to capture the menstrual blood. I'm being honest, these are very real bodily needs that people need to talk about because we, it's part of our, is females, it's part of our natural system. So unless you're on birth control, you have to worry about that. Especially when shit hits the fan, so <laughs> being honest, <laughs> I can blow smoke up your ass and say, oh, you don't have to worry about that if you're a female. So, and if you're not in menstropause, menstropause, holy cow, menopause, <laughs> menstropause, whatever. <laughs> I really don't care right now. <laughs> menstropause. <laughs> Anyways, and also ways to get rid of the, the human waste, both the solid and the fluid, um, and you'd look up camping supplies to take care, get rid of that, both, you know, the chemicals to get rid of the, um, the solid and the chemical waste. And there's also both a luggable loo, and there's also ones that, the one I saw today, <clears throat> I saw today on Amazon, like, has like $200, but it also had a tent. Basically, it, it's like a, it's a portable toilet is what I was trying to say before that you can that you can use in, in lieu, L-I-E-U, of the regular lieu, L-O-O. I know, I'm so witty. <laughs> Anyways, regarding that, and also ways to purify water, 
that doesn't require electricity as well and that's another good thing to look into you know distilling water and i think there's also ways of doing it with you know with the sunlight but that's another thing sunlight and bleach there's a there's a but of course there's you have to look that up i'm not an expert on that so <laughs> anyways those are, those are just a few items i'd like to i wanted to cover with you so and i'll include links because it's, it's a lot easier to just spout the links out at you and and, and then just go into detail about it all because i know what i'm thinking about in my head but it's kind of hard to explain via words but basically feminine needs ways to get rid of your human waste both the liquid and the solid and the how to distill water um and also get stuff that obviously good food you know shelter uh, things you need that you would feel com to make you feel comfortable to shelter in place if you're in your apartment or house for months on end and you can't go anywhere you can't get anything what do you want <laughs> the comfort the animal pleasure so to speak you know that you can afford or whatever and you know what those are like for example if you like to read books like i would i would like to have plenty of freaking books to, to read that's one example video games whatever anyways so um there's a little bird that popped up on the branch over there Anyway, so that's it. I just wanted to cover cover with you guys, and I hope you have a great day, and keep on prepping. Love you guys. Bye.